Hi, Joel Cheeseman of Cheesehead here, and today I'm joined by Richard Castellini, uh, Consumer Marketing VP with Career Builder. Mm -hmm. Richard, thanks for sitting down with us today. We appreciate it. My pleasure. So let's start with uh, a little bit about your background mm -hmm. and specifically your role here at Career Builder. Okay. Well, I've been with Career Builder, you know, uh, approximately about eight years. It'll be eight years. Um, you know, came uh, from the Headhunter acquisition. Um, did various roles at Career Builder slash Headhunter in business development, and then took over the the consumer marketing role about five years ago. Um, and in that role, I am charged with making sure that Career Builder you know, acquires as many job seekers as possible and have them do the, the number one thing that our customers want them to do, which is apply to their positions. Talk to us about, because you do offline and online, mm -hmm. correct? So talk about the different strategies, how they're intertwined, how they're different, which is, which do you prefer if one or the other? Talk about the differences. Well, I mean, certainly online, in being an on, a pure online business that we are, is the most effective way to drive traffic to our employers' jobs. So partnerships with an AOL, an MSN, a Facebook, paid search on Google, our vast and wide partnership network is really the core, the backbone of what we do. But additionally, um, you need to augment what you're doing with touch points of consumers in other ways. And you know, despite the fact that TV audiences are declining and have been declining, there's no bigger way to build a brand than through television. Um, you know, supplement that additionally with you know, advertising through our newspaper partners, uh, sports stadium sponsorships, and selective out-of-home campaigns in different markets. You mentioned the partnerships with MSA and AOL, a few of the others. Mm -hmm. Um, and that was kind of a big, a big deal for you a few mm -hmm. years ago when, when Monster decided not to do that. Is it safe to say that you'll probably renew those relationships, or will you rethink them when the time comes to renew? Well, um, you know, well, we've already re-upped with MSN. Um, MSN last year acquired an equity stake within Career Builder, and then we've extended our relationship with them. I think and. I think it's out till 2013, and gotten international access. Um, AOL, we've been a partnership. We renewed beyond our original deal once. We're in continuing conversations with them um, going forward. You mentioned uh, the television advertising mm -hmm. as being one of the biggest ways to build brand. How would you rate uh, the, your most recent ad campaign? Well, as so as we're always looking at different ways to reach consumers, we're happy with the success that it's brought in us. It's certainly um, been able to get uh, a, a further brand awareness. If you go and look at our brand awareness metrics, we're at the highest levels that we have ever been, you know, an increase of about 7% year over year. Okay. What, um, what has search marketing meant to building Career Builder's audience? Well, like everybody else, I mean, finding search uh, candidates through search marketing on Google and Yahoo and then the various smaller players is critical because you're getting a poised candidate uh, or a candidate who is much more f uh, engaged or further down the funnel um, and having yourself positioned there um, is something paramount for brands like ourselves. And you're pretty heavy uh, in pay-per-click marketing with some of the vertical search engines as well as kind of the big web search engines. Is there any comparison or is, do you think is one better than the other or are they both kind of the same audience in terms of what people are looking for? Um, it, it it depends upon you know what you're targeting and what your needs. I mean, it, you know, it, obviously, the the bigger you get, the broader it is. The the tighter you get, you know, the more specific the audience and the reach is. So you know, you can't necessarily compare them exactly apples to apples, but they're both very valuable to what we do. You know, our job uh, at Career Builder or my job at Career Builder is to get my employer's jobs in front of as many candidates as possible. And I somewhat have to be agnostic about where those candidates are. So I'm going, I'm charged to finding them wherever they are. And they are on, you know, vertical search, they are on page search, they are main, you know, portals, they're, they're there and you have to be willing to engage them with different creative messages and different um, ways in which you want to reach them at, at all levels. 
do you view ver vertical job search engines more as competitors or partners? Um, you know, it's it, it's the classic, I guess, de definition. You know, uh, that we're getting into is, is probably a little bit of both. Um, you know, we we certainly have strong relationships with some of those. We you know supply them with our content. Um, you know, but you know, you're always uh, interested to see how the, the environment moves and shapes. You know, one thing you do know is, in, in, in especially, it's difficult to get, you know, uh, and to establish relationship with employers. And, you know, we're proud of the fact that we have a sales force that, you know, is touching, you know, the vast majority of the Fortune 500. You know, we have, you know, 2,000 people that are calling, you know, small businesses, you know, so that aspect of our business makes us, you know, be more willing to work with um, them and view them more in the friend, friend light. Okay. You uh, recently did a deal with Facebook. Mm -hmm.